In several TxDOT districts, asphalt binders used in chip seal construction are required to contain a specific percentage of tire rubber. Testing for tire rubber content can be done in the Materials and Test Division lab using X-ray fluorescence technology. But the Texas Department of Transportation and researchers with the Center for Transportation Research want to bring XRF testing to the job site. The current process requires the district to take a sample and send it to MTD. MTD can run the test, the, the X-ray, uh, X-ray fluorescence test and then give the district the results. Um, that requires a time lag. We've been measuring it here at MTD for quality assurance samples, uh, quality, uh, that's, those are supplier samples, and for project samples. However, uh, by the time we get the sample and get the testing done, uh, in some cases, the, if it's a seal coat project, the project is done. So uh, that was the intent, is to get the district the tool to be able to run the test uh, as soon as possible. These x-ray fluorescence guns are, are portable, so you can either have them in the district lab, or if you want to, you can take it out on the job site on the side of the road and get a sample from the distributor or the tanker truck. And then in a couple of minutes, you can run the gun and get the answer. You could get on the side of the road before anybody actually even sprayed any of the asphalt on the ground to ensure that you had the right tire rubber content. First, we purchased uh, three different uh, new, new uh, equipment uh, to distribute to three district labs. Um, and a lot of training happened uh, in, in the district facilities, uh, trained them how to use the equipment. And it also um, included looking into using the equipment in the field. We created a spreadsheet that is a, it's a global spreadsheet for all of the guns that, are, that we, we bought. So a person doesn't have to generate calibration curves. They're all in the spreadsheet already. All a person has to do is perform the analysis, take the results from the gun and plug it into a spreadsheet where they have chosen the, their specific gun, and their specific supplier of binder, and it tells them what the tire rubber content is. Asphalts with tire rubber are typically charged at a premium, so they are a little bit more expensive because they're modified versus unmodified asphalts. And this gives us the tool to make sure if we're asking for 5%, are we getting 5%? The, the bottom line is that we're uh, able to apply the spec, we're able to make sure that we're meeting the spec, and we're getting uh, what we're asking for. For more information and to find the publications for this project, please visit the Tech.Research Library at the link shown below.